I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all to my channel. Now, today's video is part two of spring DIYs. If you've enjoyed last week's video, you are going to love this one. I have another five DIYs for you and I am loving how they turned out. Now, all the IOD products and the DIY paint you can find available on my website, www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video today. And if this is the first time you've been to my channel, welcome. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, if uh, you do like DIYs, just a day in the life of a small business owner, thrift flips, thrift hauls, then you have found your channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so that when I do uh, upload videos every Monday and Friday, you'll be notified. And in the comments, I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you guys thought of my uh, DIYs today. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. All right, enjoy. For our first project, we are gonna use a couple different items. We are going to take some scrap pieces of wood that I had laying around. I must have, um, whenever I have extra scrap pieces, um, I paint them up sometimes if I have other ideas. So these three pieces were just in my scrap wood pile. They already have the base coat on and we're gonna use those. We're making three different spring-like signs. Um, a couple of the items that we're going to use is the um, Molds Bird Song and then Trimmings 3, uh, which is the IOD mold. And then we're also gonna use one of my favorite stamps, Kindest Regards, and we are going to um, create three beautiful signs. We're gonna use some DIY paint, uh, some different waxes, and um, well, obviously the air dry clay. So let's go ahead and get this started. To start this, we're going to just take a roller and roll out just a chunk of the air dry clay. I'm then taking the Kindest Regards stamp and I'm making the impression in that clay. I want it to be just not perfect just to add it to each of the signs um, just to add something different uh, just a different texture uh, to each of the signs and i love that you can use uh, the air dry clay to take impressions from different stamps so don't always think that you have to use um, an actual mold with the clay you can definitely do that as well just take an impression Next, we're gonna take Type Bond, my favorite glue to use with the air dry clay, and um, just apply it to the back and get these glued down first. So that's the first step of these signs. Now we're gonna start layering, and this is where I am going to use the trimmings mold. I'm going to add a piece of trim to each of the signs, just again, to give it a little bit more uh, different texture, um, plus the same um, mold on each of them, just to tie them all in together in case somebody does want to buy all three. Uh, then we're gonna layer the bird song. So if you haven't used the molds before, what you want to do is put a little cornstarch in the mold. It just allows uh, the actual mold to pop out that much easier. I also like to use gravity to help get that mold out. So I just flip it over and just it pops right out um, with the help of both the cornstarch and gravity. I'm loving how this looks by layering the different molds on top of each other, the impression of the kindest regards. It just all comes together to make each of the signs just absolutely beautiful. And then we're just going to use the type bond again, apply that to all the pieces, let it dry, and then we're going to come in with paint. So we are using Apothecary, and I think this is such a spring color. I absolutely love it. Uh, so what I'm doing is just I'm going to apply one coat of Apothecary to all three of the pieces, uh, let them dry, and then we are going to come back and we are going to apply wax. 
So anytime you do use DIY paint, it can be reactivated until it is sealed. So you can seal it a couple ways with wax or with like a clear coat top coat item. So we're using the clear wax today. It allows you to manipulate the dark wax a little bit easier. Uh, so when you apply the white or the dark wax. Um, if you apply too much, you can then go back and take some of the clear wax and remove some of the darker wax. So it's just a nice way to really be able to, um, yes, basically uh, have more control over your dark wax. But I am absolutely loving the dark wax and how it makes all of the birds and that font just really pop on these signs. The last thing I decided to do, and this should have probably been done before I did the wax, um, I had this little set of stamps and I just thought I want to add just a word to each one of the stamps. So I'm using the IOD black ink and I'm just adding um, a word to each one. So I did spring, nest, and then birds on the other. And I just think it completes these signs. For this project, if you remembered from one of my recent hauls, I did find this really cool caddy. Um, I actually love the color. I like that yellow. And brand new, it was like $30. Um, I picked it up for four, and um, but it was damaged. You can see like they must have spilled something on here. Uh, so what we're gonna do or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get this removed and then I'm gonna paint the base white with white swan and then my favorite spring uh, iod transfer brocante we are going to take um, some of i love well i did in my last video use the uh, birds but i also love these with the butterflies and the flowers so i think we're going to put some of that um in there and I like to some of this um, writing. Uh, so we're going to add that to the base once we get it all prepped. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And let's get this project started. So I cleaned up um, that spill. There was like raised, um, just like a, some raised stuff on it. Um, I could not get the paper off. So we're painting over it and I am doing two coats of the DIYs White Swan. Now I'm applying the transfer and I went back and forth with several different transfers trying to figure out which one I wanted to go with. I finally decided on this one. Uh, applying a transfer is so easy. Um, all you do is you lay it down and you basically just start rubbing. And if you start pulling back and a piece of the transfer has not stuck, just put it back down and then rub again and it will then apply. One thing that I forgot to do um, was I should have clear coated it and then applied the transfer. Uh, so uh, just to forewarn you, I would recommend doing that in the future. Um, after the transfer is applied, you then want to apply a clear coat to seal not only the DIY paint, but to seal your transfer in as well. Here I am using uh, DIY's Big Top, which is a great uh, top coat to use. Um, or, you know, anything that you do have on hand as well would work, um, but I just really like the Big Top.
for this project, I did pick these up at the Dollar Tree and or dollar store and then um last in last week's video i also used plastic eggs and you saw how i struggled getting the proper coatings on those plastic eggs so i was not feeling well um uh, was not in a clear mind so this week i am going to be spraying them with rust-oleum's two times flat um paint and primer in one we are then going to then paint the eggs with DIY paint and then use that sheet moss just to add a little bit of spring amongst the eggs to make them look like they're sitting in a bed of grass. So uh, I'm going to just show you how I take you or I'm going to take you along and show you how this is done. So I am going to use um, the baking soda, half baking soda, half paint mixture. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this, but these are going to be used just to, as decoration. Um, and I want it to give these eggs just a little bit more texture. And this is the perfect way to do that. So now that they're dry, I'm going to use the DIY clear wax. Um, look at that texture though is what I was showing you and we are going to seal them with the clear wax uh, and then after the wax um, the clear wax is applied we are then going to go in with the dark wax and we're just applying a little bit to make these just have a little bit more of a vintage feel to them I don't want them to be too dark I just want all that texture to really pop out now we're going to put them in the basket. I'm taking that sheet moss and I'm just going to tuck it in and around each of those eggs. Initially, I was just going to do that and then wrap them with some twine. Uh, pretty quick, I realized though that somebody was going to possibly tip them over and all the eggs would fall out. So I went back and I used hot glue um, and glued them all in place along with adding a little bit of that hot glue to the sheet moss as well. For this project, I am using one of my favorite stamps, typesetting. I love this set of stamps because it has capital, lowercase, and it also has the numbers. Uh, anytime I use my IOD ink, I just want to make sure that it is uh, the actual stamp pad has enough ink. Uh, I always keep my little bottle and just make sure that I'm always applying enough. I just want the it not to be too um like too wet but just perfect so i'm getting a nice crisp clean um stamped impression so here i'm doing that um, but in this project what we're going to do is we are going to uh, stamp the word spring and i love this these little blocks i always keep all my scrap lumber and I just in case I come up with an idea like this so we are using mint chip and we are going to paint all of those mint chip now keep in mind you could have did multiple colors I just wanted to do one color across the board I'm going to create a sign that has pops of mint in it I and I did not want um, a lot of different colors so yes that is definitely something that you can do as well so we're going to go ahead paint a mint then we're going to go back and we are also going to use the kindest regard stamp again and then we're going to use the typesetting stamp as well so here i am i'm just going to apply one coat of the mint chip to both sides of the boards and let them dry good and then we're going to come back and i'm going to show you how we're going to do the stamping so to finish these uh, little blocks off, we are going to start by using the Kindest Regards stamp and we're gonna ink up a section of it and then apply it and just rub over to leave a nice clean impression. If you haven't used the IOD uh, stamps yet, one thing I wanna mention is the first time that you buy the stamp, what you do have to do is remove that backer Take just a fine grit sandpaper and rub it over the actual stamps. It just preps those stamps to take on ink that much easier. 
So now that we have the kindest regards stamped on there, we are taking typesetting and we are just going to use the letters and write out spring. And I just put the boards next to each other um, just to make sure that I'm having them all the same um, height from me, you know, so that they're all even so that when I do stand them all next to each other, it is like a straight line. Then lastly, we are just taking Big Top from DIY and we are going to clear coat uh, the entire, um, each of these little signs uh, to finish them off. For this last project, I did pick up these tiny little uh, styrofoam eggs from the dollar store as well. And they had a bunch of glitter on them, so I didn't know if how this was gonna work, but I used the rest of that blue um, paint up that I used the baking soda technique on, and I think the coverage is perfect. So for this project, I found this old um, piece of door and then this ladle that I actually got from a, a haul this last summer. And I was going, I got two of them and I was going to keep one. So I'm doing that and I'm using this one. Uh, whoever had this, had a, there's already a hole um, on top. So I'm going to attach it to um, this actual vintage board. So prior to attaching this, I did apply a clear coat. Um, it, it is chippy, so I made sure that there was no um, pieces or chippy parts that were still falling off. Uh, get, wiped it down really well, clear coated it, and then we um, I put in a screw. Uh, the hole is so large that unfortunately um, it, it would not, I couldn't attach it permanently. So for the final step, I'm just taking some of that moss, hot gluing it in, and then I'm going to hot glue the eggs in there as well. Uh, and then I had some little fibers and I sprinkled those over the eggs as well, just to give it a little bit added texture, applied a little bit more moss. Um, in the end, I absolutely love how this turned out. I just think it is so cool and I cannot wait to put it in one of my booths. So what did you guys think? What was your favorite DIY this week? Uh, what is getting you in the mood for spring? So I'll have to say I loved those eggs. I stumbled upon them at uh, the dollar store. Like I said, I don't shop there very often. I was just in there getting some stuff for my kiddos for Valentine's Day and bam, I saw them. So I thought I am going to try to do a DIY with these. I absolutely love them. I'm keeping a set for myself and definitely be putting those in my booths for the springtime. Now, uh, Monday's video, I am feeling so much better, guys. I actually started uh, restocking my booths. So I am going to bring you along, uh, show you the booth restock. Um, actually, I'm going to show you a little bit of the Yo Goat and some of the Water Street Vintage. Uh, that is still definitely a work in progress. I kind of stopped because I'm like, okay, I got all the Christmas out of the goat. I need some stuff in there. So I definitely did a reef, you know, just a move stuff around, made it look different. And then Sunday, they do have uh, vendor hours. So I will be adding another piece. Um, I'm tomorrow, I'm going to be flipping a dresser. So I will show you that. Um, and then it'll be part of the video, I'm assuming, uh, for Monday. So it's a work in progress. <laughs> have a great weekend and we'll see you Monday. Bye.